Hey guys, my name is Dan, I'm a veterinarian, and today, did you know your cat can get lungworms? Yes, lungworms. Lungworms are roundworms that can cause a chronic cough and respiratory distress in your kitty cat. Today I'm going to go over how a cat might get it, how we're going to diagnose it, and how we're going to treat it. Lungworms in cats, guys, are spread by when, when cats eat like birds or rodents outside, and these birds or rodents are carrying roundworms or lungworms, and they get those from snails or slugs when they eat those. When a cat has lungworms, they're going to cough a lot, they may breathe harder, have some respiratory distress because the lungworm guys will cause pneumonia or bronchitis like symptoms. The kitty cat will come in, you'll be stressing because we're breathing hard, and they're going to do, your veterinarian's going to do a handful of different tests. They may do some x-rays to look at how bad the lungs are. Do you have indication of bronchitis or pneumonia or how bad is the lungs that are experiencing this infection? Also, the veterinarian may do some blood work to assist the overall health of the kitty cat. Now, the most important thing a veterinarian is going to do is a fecal exam. They're going to run that poop and they're going to see if there's any eggs in there. Now, the problem with that is, with the lungworm, you're not going to see too many eggs. Now, true, the cat may cough the lungworm larvae up and swallow them and poop them out. But we're not looking for larvae with the fecal. We're looking for eggs. And you're not going to see any larvae on with the, with the fecal. Your veterinarian will do a Behrman test. The Behrman test is going to do is a fancy fecal test where they float the larvae up and then then the reference lab can look under the microscope slide and see the larvae from the lungworm. A Behrman test is basically looking for those larvae that your cat coughs up, swallows, and then poops out. If we diagnose them with the Behrman test, that is awesome. We got our answer. Let's treat it. With that being said, a lot of times, guys, lungworms are hard to diagnose. Just because of that, we're looking for larvae on a special test. If we can't find any larvae, we can still treat. If we have suspicion that the symptoms we're seeing, the x-rays look funny, that it may be a lungworm infection, we're going to treat it. We may give meds like fenbendazole and other dewormers that are very beneficial at helping to clean out a lungworm infection. As always guys, I hope this video was fun and interesting. You learned a little bit about lungworms and the possibility of if your cat's having a hard time breathing, could it be a lungworm? As always guys, I'm Dan. I'm a veterinarian. Thanks for watching. And I really appreciate it. You guys have a great day. I hope your kitty cats are happy and healthy and I hope you are too. You guys take care. Bye.